Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we're gonna head out to you and do a little hunting for gray wolves. But before we head into the video, if you haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notify bell, and if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Alrighty, so we are hunting for gray wolves in their drink zone, and gray wolves drink from midnight till 3 or 3.30. So you're gonna need those night vision binoculars. I don't like the night vision scope a whole lot. I don't use it, but I do like the night vision binoculars. And I am packing the M1. Awesome little gun for just decimating these gray wolves. And they are such a great animal to hunt if you're grinding for cash because they just don't bolt most of the time. You can start shooting, and if you were to shoot a deer, the rest would be gone, but not with the wolves. Sometimes they flee, but a lot of the time they stick around, and you can just take out a whole pack of them. Alrighty. And we have a mythical. Awesome first wolf. He is a gold. 38.3. He is 0.7 off a diamond. And another gold, that one's a level 6, 36.3. Yeah, I'm a, on a multiplayer server and I got host after hunting during the day for a while. Another gold, 36.8, that one's a level 7. And uh, as soon as you turn the time to night, everyone leaves the server. <laughs> Not too many stick around. I think I am, again, the only one left on the server. But that's okay, I don't mind. 32.3, level 3 female. No rare variations or different fur colors in that group. Another common level 2, 31.6. And the only thing is that's where we found that group. The only thing is when you do shoot them without a tripod, if you shoot more than three, you are going to lose your zone. And on my way up here to look for wolves, I found a level 3 bison. And... Just for kicks and giggles, I am going to shoot it with the bow right across the river here. He's about 80 meters away. I'm having fun with experimenting with my bow. Ooh! <laughs> well, I got something good because he is dead. Nice! Flesh, right long, heart, liver, and stomach. That just went right through that bison, and it's a gold. 148.4, and that was a pretty sweet shot. And I'm using the 600 grain arrows with the Cotter CB65. Awesome bow. And this is the lake at the very top of the map that the train tracks run through. Awesome for wolves during the day and at night. I always find wolves up here. There's a lot of And that's the end of him. Got a whole bunch of them. Now wolves will pay you anywhere in the range of 1300 to 1500 The higher the level of the animal, the more money it will pay. And it will also pay more when you hit a vital as opposed to when you do a not so good shot, you will get paid for that. that guy's hiding, hiding behind the post, but I was able to still get a vital. Snuck a shot in there. This is the exact spot where I found that level 5 caribou that got uh, run off by the four-wheeler. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Level 3, good night. And then when you're done, you're just left with a big pile of wolves to pick up. And even when they're fleeing, often they just mosey on out. Sometimes they run, but a lot of times they're just not in a hurry. Just gives you ample opportunity to make them dead. <laughs> and that is a pretty nice gold mythical, 38. Got right lung and liver on that one. That's one point off a diamond. And a gold, 36.4. That one's a level six. Left lung shot. 
Just missed the heart there. And a silver, 32.4, level three female. And 37.1, level seven gold. Let's see, he is paying us just over 1,500, so that's pretty nice payday. And this is where we found those wolves. And that is a great lake for wolves, day or night. Now, if you were to ask me, I think that looks like an egg white. And level seven, that's a pretty nice one. It's definitely not a common. It is hard to tell with it lit up. But we're gonna shoot it and find out. And that looks good. Yeah, that's definitely an egg white. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. What is happening with this gun floating in front of my face? <laughs> Alrighty, my game's just being a little glitchy. That is pretty sweet. We have a gold, egg white, gray wolf. 37.5. And we shot it from just over 247 meters. And we are getting attacked. You can always tell when you hear growls and snarls that you're getting attacked. And if you notice, first thing I do when I hear those growls and when they're approaching is I get right into the lake. The lake is your safe spot. They can't kill you when you're in the lake. And that's all animals. That is your safe spot, but you gotta get in pretty deep. If you just get in a little bit, they can still get you. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I shot that guy with the bow, and I'm using the CB65, by the way, he just dropped. He did not get back up. Whereas when you shoot them with the M1, they drop, they get back up, they bite you, and then they die. And now we are running one of the big, big lakes in the bottom left corner, and we do have wolves here as well. Now I'm going to do a little tripod hunting. The nice thing about hunting from a tripod is you're not going to kill your zones. The bad thing about hunting from a tripod is you're not going to have as steady a shot, so it is going to be harder to hit them. And you can't get any closer than 200 meters and put down a tripod, because that will definitely spook your wolves or whatever animal it is that you're hunting. I'm actually surprised that putting down a tripod right at 200 meters doesn't spook them. It actually used to. Used to spook them from further than that, but uh, they seem to have fixed that, so that is awesome. And these guys are fleeing, and that sometimes happens, not too often, but they do sometimes flee. <laughs> Haven't found a legendary yet. Have seen a pile of wolves, but have not seen the big guy yet. Anytime they want to stand there and give me a nice double lung shot. And they're doing that weird animation where they fall into the ground like Mouflon used to do. I don't know if they still do it. I actually hunted on Quattros tonight for the first time in probably three weeks. Definitely first time since Silver Ridge Peaks came out for console. Thought I'd do some other videos on different reserves. I understand people are getting sick of just seeing Silver Ridge Peaks. I am not sick of hunting there yet. I still need a black bear diamond, so I am going to have to go back there and try and get that. That is the only diamond, as well as mule deer, which I don't even know if you can get a diamond off that map. Every mule deer on my Silver Ridge Peaks map maxes out at a four. I have not even seen a five yet. I'm not saying you can't get a diamond off of Silver Ridge Peaks. Don't send me your diamond photos. <laughs> I just haven't seen very much anything bigger than a four, even on multiplayer. And those wolves were fleeing. That one is not a good shot. And we seem to be getting all commons, which is kind of disappointing. Level seven common, 36.7, that's a gold. Another gold, 37 on the nose, and that's level seven. Double lung, another common, and another common. 33.2 silver, double lung. But yeah, you do a little bit of gray wolf or even Iberian wolf hunting and you will stack that cash up fast. I noticed today when I was hunting, boy, I have a lot more money <laughs> since I went hunting for those wolves. So there's a nice zone right on the tip. And look at all the wolves I have here. That is a nice big pack. I may not show you it, but I do always spot every single wolf just to make sure there isn't a nine 
or po I don't know if you can tell, but possibly a rare. I'm sure you'd be able to tell somewhat if there were an albino, I would think. You may not be able, it, it should look slightly different, but I, it is still hard to see at night. It really is. Oh yeah, and I wanted to mention to you guys that I am actually going away this weekend, last weekend of summer. I don't know if you guys have a long weekend, but here in Canada, we have a long weekend. It is Labor Day weekend this weekend, and I'm heading up to the cottage. So there will not be a video. There might be one Saturday, but there won't be one Sunday or Monday. I will be back on Tuesday for sure. And we have a mythical there. Sometimes it's really hard to get a tripod down if you have land that's slightly on a hill. I had a hard time getting that tripod down. And these guys are all bunching up together. I'm sure they'll spread out very soon. We have two mythicals here. And this is my map now. I headed to my map. That's the tripod. <laughs> I don't want to kill my zones. Definitely want to take those two mythicals out. See if we can't get a better respawn. It's hard to see where one wolf ends and the other begins, so I'm not sure what kind of shot I was going to get when they're all bunched up together. But yeah, when I reset my account back in June, I did level up mainly by hunting for gray wolves. And I hunted on my map. I did not use a tripod. And the reason I did not is because when you are a brand new player, you're not going to be able to hit anything 200 meters away or further. With your basic guns, even with DLC guns, without perks or skills, it is very difficult when you're a low level. You need to lay prone, and so that's what I did, and I killed all my zones because I killed every single wolf that I could. And I leveled up pretty quick. And here I am back on my map, rediscovering my zones. They may not be in the exact same spot, but they're going to be there nonetheless, so I wasn't too worried about it. 32.8, level 3 female. And that's a gold. There's a mythical, 37.8. 1.2 off a diamond. And that is not a good shot. <laughs> shot him in the head. Probably couldn't do that again if I tried. 38.2 and that is our second mythical. That's awesome. And this guy is a level 6 gold. 36.1. That was a pretty nice pack of wolves. And that was a pretty nice fleeing shot. And this is where we found them, right on the tip. And that's a great spot to check for wolves even in the morning. I often head right to that tip at about just after seven in the morning, you should find wolves. And here we have an, another mythical. This one has found me. So he gets to meet my M1. So when you have wolves attacking you, all you have to do is really quickly press up twice on your directional pad and press A and that'll pop your scope off in just a matter of seconds. And you can start firing away. And that is a pretty big mythical, 38.3. 0.7 off a diamond. So I am at two of the northern lakes. We have another one approaching. I must have a zone around here that I'm disturbing when I came onto the lake. That's what I'm thinking. Often I'll shoot them, they'll come and take a nip out of me, and then they'll drop. I know he's fine, but I'm gonna shoot him again anyway. And he is a level 5 silver, 34.6. Ooh, look at all the wolves. That's a lot of wolves. This will probably be our last pack of the night. We got a lot of them. You'd think with this many wolves, there'd be something good there. <laughs> and I do spot them all, and there is nothing exciting here. Now, unfortunately, I was unable to put a tripod down. I just couldn't see them from over 200 meters, just the way that the land was. So I am shooting from prone, and I'll probably just take two or three out, seeing as I don't really need to grind for cash. Just really trying to show you guys where you're going to find the wolves and give you an idea what it's like to hunt them. They're a lot of fun to hunt. I love wolf hunting. It is super fun. And that is a gold level 7. Also have a lot of level 7 wolves on my map. 
or I did. And that's a gold. Level six, 36.4. Yeah, I'm noticing more and more that they're putting the zones for these wolves right on the tips of the lakes. So keep that in mind when you're scouting out for them. And that's a wrap. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. If you haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can join us for more videos. Until next time, you guys take care.